Team, keep it clean. What's going on, baby? I feel like I ain't talked to y'all in a, a long time, man. I know we just took yesterday off, but and I feel good. I feel refreshed. Um, just feel rejuvenated. Feel good, man. I hope y'all feeling really, really good, too. Um, I appreciate y'all, all, all the support that y'all have been showing like crazy. Thank you for that. Um, just thank you for everything, man. I hope y'all having a great Sunday. I hope y'all have a great week this week. Obviously, this is an extremely busy week, big week, uh, especially for all the people that have been anticipating this for a long time. The draft is here. It's like four days away. Well, five if you want to include today. But it's right here. It's right here. Um, we're going to finally have so many questions answered, not just about rookies, but about some veterans, too. Uh, of course, there will be some trades going down. There's some rumors that will be finally put an end to. And then also, when you think about it, we may get uh, another step closer to whatever's going to happen with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. I know there's some people that are thinking, oh, Lamar could be traded on draft night. There's some people that are thinking, oh, nobody's going to sign him to, to an offer sheet until after the draft. So whatever's going to happen. We're going to be that much closer to it uh, after this week. So it should be fun. As y'all know, I think we've been doing this for what, five, six, maybe seven years where we used to do a live stream on uh, the first night of the draft, first round. Um, so, yeah, that will continue. Ain't nothing changing with that. So we're looking forward to that. But, yeah, man, it should be a good time, man. So um, it, it's exciting. Now, speaking of quarterbacks. Um, the Ravens, they're going to get to keep their Pro Bowl quarterback after all. Looks like he's going to stay, uh, but not the Pro Bowl quarterback that so many people have been thinking of. And really, uh, first, sh shout out to Tom Pelissero because he's the one. He, he broke this news a couple of days ago, and um, the way that he broke it, it was like, ooh, you, you little troll. It, it, it was funny, though. I appreciated it because he said uh, the Ravens Pro Bowl quarterback isn't going anywhere. Uh, Snoop Huntley plans to sign his restricted tender Monday, per source. Huntley has been working out at the team facility and heads to Tampa this weekend to throw with teammates. Baltimore's other quarterback, Lamar Jackson, remains unsigned. And, of course, uh, we have seen a video of Snoop uh, working out with um, Nelson Aguilar. I'm like, okay, okay Nelson. Well, really, okay, Nelson Aguilar trying to get acclimated as soon as possible. I guess Nelson Aguilar like, look, hey, I think I know who my quarterback is going to be. Let me try to build up a, a rapport with him as much as I can. So when I'm out there, we got this thing going. But we'll, we'll see how things go. But anyway, um, Snoop signing his tender. I mean, it's tough with the tenders, man. With the, with the restricted free agent tenders, they don't have a choice. They really don't have a choice. When you're a restricted free agent, you literally cannot do anything but whatever the team tells you to do. Because if you sign a tender, you're like, okay, well, hey, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm going back with the team, da, da 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 But if you don't sign it, you can't sign anywhere else. You, you cannot do anything. Now, I mean, you could request a trade from the team, and then they could trade you if they want to, or they could resend the tender to make you a free agent. But they, they have, like, complete control with these, with, with being a restricted free agent. So it, it's, it's tricky. And then, of course, um, you got to hope uh, if if you want to leave or something, if you don't want to be part of that team, you got to hope that another team signs you to an offer sheet. Uh, and then whatever team you're on would have the opportunity to match. Uh, but if they didn't match with Snoop, he, he got offered a low round tender. So say, for instance, the Cowboys, just using them as an example, say, for instance, the Cowboys signed Snoop to an offer sheet. They signed him to an offer sheet and Ravens looked at it and they, they would have five days to match. Uh, but if they didn't match it and he went to the Cowboys, the Ravens would receive no compensation whatsoever. They wouldn't receive anything. Snoop would just be a Cowboy. Now, if they had placed a first, second, third, um, I think they have four fourth round tenders. Uh, but if they placed one of those tenders on Snoop and the Cowboys signed him to an offer sheet and the Ravens like, no, nah, we're not going to match that. Then the Cowboys would give up. Just using it as an example, say they placed a second round tender on Snoop, uh, then the Cowboys would give up a second round pick to acquire Snoop via offer sheet. So it's the same way as the non exclusive um, franchise tag. Uh, is it has a lot of similarities with it, but um, yeah, that that's how that goes. But basically, anyway, Snoop he ain't going nowhere. He will be a Raven, and, and I think that is expected, and it was expected by everybody, especially given the whole. Oh, Lamar situation, man, because even though a lot of us feel like it's going to go one way, 
there is a possibility of it going a different way. This whole thing, it, it could go left. Odell Beckham Jr., he talked about it. And, and you got the feeling from Odell like, hey, look, Lamar's going to be here. And I know a lot of around the league and stuff from a lot of NFL executives, they've been saying it all this whole offseason. Oh, yeah, look, Lamar's most likely going to end up being a Raven. A lot of the media been saying it too. But still, as we know in the NFL, things can change. They can change mighty fast in a heartbeat. Now, when it comes to Lamar Jackson, we hope things go good with the Ravens, but you got to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And with Tyler Huntley, um, he does give you a solid option uh, as far as backup quarterback. Now, if he needs to be your starter, um, Tyler Huntley was somebody that got more comfortable as time went along. I know one of the things, one of the biggest knocks uh, with Tyler Huntley uh, had been the deep ball. Had been him not putting enough touch on the deep ball, him not just having the strength to get it out there. Um, that had been his thing. That, that had been an issue for him. Uh, but we saw, like, I mean, in the playoff game, you saw that. And and even in, um, I think it was the his last game before the playoff game, his last regular season game, I think it was, to where he was like, or was it the playoff game? But it, I forgot which it was, but it may, it might, it may have been both because I remember the DeMarcus Robinson, that deep ball in the playoff game where he hit that little preseason right on Eli Apple, which was beautiful. But toward the end of the season, Tyler Huntley was really pushing that ball down the field more, like really pushing it down. And I was like, Whoa, okay, who is this Tyler? Now, again, we're still missing Lamar now because, again, Tyler is not Lamar. Tyler, Tyler's Tyler. Lamar is Lamar. So shout out to the both of them. But um, I, I really love how he was pushing it down the field a lot more. So that was nice to see. Um, but with Tyler Huntley, yeah, he is, it's weird because he, he's been around – for what three years I think and it feels like he started a lot more games than he actually has he's obviously got some experience um even from his rookie year undrafted guy from what Utah I believe undrafted rookie free agent came on with the Ravens and that was that and he got his opportunity like there will be blowouts he got his opportunities uh when the Ravens will be blowing somebody out and there will be other times too when Lamar when he was hurt or sick uh, and Tyler Huntley, he will step in and he will fill in. So Tyler Huntley, somebody that's uh, continued to gain experience in the NFL. And I, I've said it all offseason, like if, hopefully they don't, but if things were to go south with Lamar, um, I feel like Tyler Huntley would sort of be that bridge to whatever the Ravens end up doing next. Whatever, they, whatever route they decide to go as far as quarterback, uh, I know a lot of people are thinking possibly Anthony Richardson since the Ravens, since Ravens had like 50 visits with him uh, over this the past like couple of months and whatnot. Um, some people are thinking uh, Hendon Hooker. Uh, and I mean, anything's possible, but <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't want to see these Ravens without Lamar Jackson. I don't think we will, but I just, I don't want to. But then, again, anything's possible till it ain't possible. No more. So until something is finalized, until something is sealed, signed, sealed, and delivered, then we just don't know. We don't know. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But with Tyler Huntley, he could be, uh, for the Ravens, he could be a bridge for them until they figure out what's next, until they figure out, all right, what, what, what route are we going to take um, post the Lamar Jackson era but again hopefully we are not in or entering the post Lamar Jackson era because that's not an era that I want to be part of that's not an era that 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 I want to see when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens so again hopefully um Lamar and company they can they can get everything worked out uh with the Ravens and we can all just be one big happy family again uh, they can move forward. They can move forward as far as how things are going to go. Because, again, the offseason the off program getting ready to start. I mean, it already started. They, they already started working out. It's voluntary. But uh, they already started reporting back to the facility, working out and stuff. And now, like in a couple of days, the Ravens are going to get at least five new teammates for now. But I think most of us anticipate the Ravens making some moves and getting even more draft picks. Um who they end up making moves for, who they end up moving, we'll see. 
I feel like so much of Team Keep It Clean and really just Ravens fans as a whole uh, kind of are centered around some of the same people as possible uh, trade uh, options or whatnot. I know a big consensus, consensus for people is uh, Patrick Queen. A lot of people feel like Patrick Queen will be traded. Um, I think that's probably been the number one guy that most people feel like will be traded. Uh, and, I mean, it, it's looking like it. We'll see, though. We, we'll know very soon. We'll know, like, extremely soon. Um, but y'all know me. I, I, am, um, I am of the, uh, the section of Ravens fans who, and this is just me, um, I know it won't happen. Well, not that I know it won't happen, but I don't envision it happen because of the way that Eric DaCosta moves. I would just love to see Patrick Queen ride out his fifth-year option if they would have to pick it up first. But play this year, then play on his fifth-year option so him and Roquan Smith could be together as long as possible. I, I do not think the Ravens are going to re-sign Patrick Queen uh, just because I don't envision them paying two inside linebackers, top inside linebacker money. But... Yeah, so I, 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 would, I would like that. But this is me. This is how I feel about all the players. But I'm not mad when they try to go out and get their money because Patrick Queen remaining with the Ravens probably wouldn't be the best way for him to get the most money that he can possibly get. Uh, because I was talking to my guy the other day, uh, my guy Jay, and he brought up a good point like, hey, Patrick Queen, like this wouldn't be the best place for him to maximize his, his value because he's always going to be known as the guy, net, well, not always, but he'll be known as the guy next to Roquan Smith. So if he can go somewhere where he can have more of being the guy at inside linebacker, it'll help him out. And, I mean, he can still get paid being next to Roquan Smith because we've seen it before. But in order to get paid sooner, faster, and really start to establish yourself quicker, he goes spread his wings. And, I mean, he was starting to do that, but then the Ravens like, ah, Roquan, come on. Um, and it ended up being a good move, and that was their second round pick this year, paid off. Uh, but shout out to him. But um, for for Patrick Queen, uh, and then this was my thinking with a lot of Ravens players over the years, and we we talked about it on here a lot. Like with Patrick Queen, I would love to see him stay for the remainder of his rookie contract. I know it's probably not going to happen, but I would love to see that, to so the Ravens could really get the most out of him. For Orlando Brown Jr., I want I knew they weren't going to resign him. We all knew they weren't going to resign him, but I, me personally, I wanted him to stay throughout his rookie contract. I was like, hey, just get the third round comp pick, have the offensive line the best they could possibly be. But they traded him earlier. With Hollywood, I, I wanted them to keep him, so that's a whole different story. But with Hayden Hurst, Hayden Hurst, we knew he requested a trade. I didn't want them to trade him. I wanted them to keep him throughout his rookie contract so he could be with the Ravens as long as possible so they could get the most out of him too. But, again, that's, that's just not how things go with these Ravens. These Ravens, they like, hey, with Eric DeCosti, like, hey, well, minus Lamar. I mean, he tried, though, but they still trying. So that, that, that's the anomaly with this whole thing. But normally with Eric DeCosta, he, he tries to get ahead of it. And that's whether he's keeping you or cutting you. Or well, not necessarily even cutting, but maybe keeping you or he's going to move on from you. So he usually does stuff a lot early. Like we've seen players get their contracts, again, minus Lamar. <laughs> we've seen players get their contracts, get their new contracts before the contracts run out. Like a Mark Andrews, like a Marlon Humphrey, like a Ronnie Stanley, like a Justin Tucker, like even a Marshall Yonder. They had even re-signed him, like, sort of as a safe thing. Okay, just, I know you're probably going to retire, but we're we just going to be safe, and we're going to sign you anyway, just to have it covered. But, so, yeah, so they, they do these things early rather than late. So now, with that being said, with that, saying that out loud, kind of makes you wonder, too. And I know we off on a little tangent right now, but, hey, tangents are all good with me. Um, it's funny, I was just talking to one of my guys on Twitter, my guy, um... I think it's, uh, is it Insomniac or a Nomadic Raven? Um, you know what? Let me look it up right now because I don't want to mess up his name. Nomadic, okay. No, oh, Nomadic Insomniac. Okay, so it was both. Okay, so I was like right and wrong all at the same time. But I was talking to him about some stuff. And I told him, I said, man, it sounds like you need to start a YouTube channel, man. Because he was the way that he was breaking this whole situation down and stuff. And he was like, no, no, I, I, would, be, uh, I would be rambling too much. I, me, I appreciate when people ramble. I love it. Like, I, I, I would never want, and this is just me personally. I know people, people they'll complain over anything, as, as y'all know. But I would never want to, say, for instance, something happens. Um, 
when Lamar was placed or when he when he got franchise tag, just using it as an example. I would never want somebody to come on come on a video. The Ravens placed the franchise tag on Lamar Jackson, the non exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson, valued at thirty two point blah 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 mil. And that's it. Like, no, okay, we all know that. Tell me what you think about it. I, I want to hear. I want to hear about it. Hear what you think it means. Hear what you think could possibly happen. And then, hey, I even, I even love some, some side conversation on the side, too. Tell me about all that. That's me, though. I love that. But it's not for everybody. And, and I get that. And that's okay. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens, man. Uh, as far as Patrick Queen, as far as just really anybody. So, yeah, man. So, anyway, big week for draft big week for uh, all 32 teams um in the nfl uh, a lot could happen a lot should happen maybe this is the finally the week where aaron Rodgers is finally traded uh maybe this is the week where deandre hopkins is finally traded and i'm sure they're going to be other trades too of course there's been that whole derrick henry rumor floating around and stuff so we'll see what happens with that that'd be crazy if the eagles got derrick henry but anyway uh but the titans again there, there was that the story that came out a couple months ago that the Titans, maybe it was a month and a half ago, a month and a half ago, excuse me, uh, and where the uh, Titans were listening to offers for Derrick Henry. I think that's what it said. Like, oh, okay, wow, Titans for Derrick Henry. Like, when you think about Titans, that's the first person you think of. Well, that's the first person I think of. I don't think about anybody else. I mean, you could say Jeffrey Simmons, you could say Ryan Tannehill, you could say some other guy, but it's him for me, Derrick Henry. So it's like, man, um, listening to offers, and again, listening is listening, but if, if you're listening, if you're willing to listen, that means you're willing to talk. And if you're willing to talk, that means you're willing to make that move. So, yeah, even though it's just rumors right now, then wouldn't be surprised if he gets shipped off, man. Wouldn't that be surprising? And that would really be, mean the Titans, like, it's really kind of like starting over. I mean, they, they, they traded their best receiver last year. Now you could trade your, your running back, the guy that has literally carried you a lot over the years. Um, so yeah, that would be something, man. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I, I love y'all. Feels good to be back. Uh, again, like I said, it feels just, just feel refreshed, man. And, and it's always important to, uh, to take time off, whatever you do, to, to, to take breaks, to have good balance. And I know, again, like I know we talk about on here, uh, I know there will be people that like, oh, and great, hey, man, take a break, take a break, take some time off, da, da, da. Trust me, we take a lot of time off. We, we take a lot of time off. Y'all don't necessarily see that because y'all normally see a video every single day. Todos los días. Look at that little Spanish interpretation. But you normally see a video every single day. But we, we take a lot of time off a whole lot. But anyway, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all get some good relaxing time, man. And prepare yourself mentally because this week is going to be busy for the draft and stuff. Prepare yourself because, again, I'm sure more and more news is going to continue to come out. Um, and, yeah, that'll be that. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all having a great Sunday or really whenever you're watching this. I hope your day is amazing. And I hope it started off amazing. But I hope for your sake and for really all of our sake, I hope it gets even better. Like Tyler Huntley won't be since he'll be with the Ravens this season after signing a tender officially tomorrow, we out.